Welcome to the Geyserville Christian Church virtual worship service. This is the service that's going to be done for May 3rd. May 3rd is my, actually was my parents' wedding anniversary. May 1st, today, the day that I'm filming this is uh, Sherry's and my 55th wedding anniversary. So thank you to my celebration over here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for being part of this little congregation. The building is empty right now, but our hearts are full of God's love. Our expectations are high that at some point this summer we will be back here together to sing and praise, maybe not hug, maybe you know, keep our social distance at the same time, but at least be together again. I'm looking forward to that, aren't you? We're going to do communion today, so my suggestion is that we uh, stop for a second and uh, run out and get yourself some bread and juice or wine, something for the cup, that we can uh, share this service together. Anyway, I'll give you a minute or two and then get started. It looks like I've got to light the candles. Let's turn to number 22. It's going to be Amazing Grace. standing here. I'm standing here. 
The reading today is about wonders. So something to think about is the wonders in your life, the wonders that you've encountered. I'm going to sing about Grateful Thanksgiving. That's going to be page number 216, 216. If you turn there, we can sing together or you can listen to me sing, whatever works best. I sing about showers of blessing, though my life fill us. You hold us. You give us laughter. You teach us to love. Thank you. Acts chapter 2 verses 42 through 47. They devoted themselves to the apostles teaching and fellowship to the breaking of bread and the prayers. Remember this is the early, early, early church community, I'm not even sure they were considered Christians then. They were still just followers on the path or followers of the way of Jesus. Awe came upon everyone because many wonders and signs were being done by the apostles. All who believed were together and had all things in common. They would sell their possessions and goods and distribute the proceeds to all as they had need, day by day, as they spent much of their time in the temple, they broke bread at home and ate their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having the goodwill of all the people. And day by day, the Lord added to their number those who were being saved. Wonders, wonders, wonders. What are the wonders? 
that surround us today. In these times, in our various places, sip, which is actually a sign that used to stand behind where the musicians played at a bar called Flow, now means more than we than what we do with a glass of wine or whiskey or beer. Shelter in place. It means a kind of isolation that many of us are not used to. Many of us, well, me for one, are used to taking our lives in big gulps, living large and living free. Shelter in place has clipped our wings, so to speak, some of us are in kind of an emotional, cultural, societal shock from this unnatural isolation. And yet still, there are wonders taking place all around us. Have you noticed? Have you noticed? Have you looked? Have you seen? Take a second or two. Let's just pause. What might they be? What wonder did you see yesterday? What wonder did you see this morning? You do know that life itself is a miracle, a wonder. Today, as we celebrate the bread and cup, let us allow ourselves to see just for a second the wonder of it, the wonder of you, you. the wonder of God in our lives. This is the bread. This is the cup. This is you. This is me. This is all of us. This is the wonder. Amen. Somebody's probably already thought in their heads, the little joke, well, I wonder what's next. So what is next? What's next for this community, this church, this little gathering that we have done once a week that I try to make good once a week with a video celebration on YouTube? What's next for us is to get together. What's next here right now is bread. It's bread. It's, it's what we metaphorically understand as the body of Christ. When we break this bread, we do what Jesus has told us to do, which is do it in remembrance of him. We break the bread in remembrance of the brokenness that Jesus suffered. We break the bread in remembrance of the brokenness we have suffered. In the brokenness now of this little community spread out and separated, we break this bread in remembrance of all of the times Jesus has come to our aid, God has provided, love has come upon us yet again. We remember these things, Lord Jesus. We remember these things. We pour the cup. We remember again. We remember that Jesus said, this is the cup of the new and the everlasting covenant. This is me poured out for you. This is all I have for you, given to you freely. And in the pouring, we remember all of that, all of the times we, we me, you, have been poured out. We have been poured out until it felt like our very lives drenched the ground. And yet here at this table, in this place, in your places, in our hearts, we are gathered, we are put back together, we are reformed in this bread, in this cup, in ourselves, in each other. We are the body of Christ, reborn, renewed, reinvented today. Be, be the body of Christ reunited.
reborn in spirit, let us be together today in the love of Christ and eat and share this meal together. Amen. And so I take the body of Christ into the cup. I give thanks. I give praise. And as soon as I can swallow, I'll sing my final song, which is number 225. And it's the song. It's prophetic for me. Is prophetic because it holds the promise of things to come for us. It's called Bear Hugs from Jesus. We're not just going to actually have a bear hug from Jesus because for a while, but it's going to come. We will have this thing. Have you ever just wanted a bear hug to help you through your day? You just ask Jesus never far away Sometimes we all need a good hug to know that we are loved We just ask Jesus for the greatest hug of all Bear hugs from Jesus make you feel okay Just lean on his strong arms he'll help you together, Lord God. Bless us. I ask God now to bless each and every one of you, to hold you, to comfort you, to keep you safe. Praise God and blessings. Amen. <laughs>